League season only a week away. What better than to test yourselves against another of the clubs expected to be in the title mix? This will be considered something in recent seasons to uh, almost four hundred million pounds. Arsenal in their new away strip once more. At a full house at the Olympic Stadium in Helsinki with plenty of red, white and light blue in attendance, whether it be locally, so familiar surroundings for them. And the Manchester City lineup, two of Manuel Pellegrini's big money signing start for City. Leading goal scorer in pre-season with four goals. Managed 15 in total last season did Edin Dzeko well, he cost 27 million pounds from Wolfsburg but during the course of this summer they've signed Fernandinho for 30 million Negredo for around 20 Jovetic as well as Arsenal go through and it's a goal for Arsenal and it's Theo Walcott getting the better of Joe Hart and not of the head congratulations from Aaron Ramsey and Arsenal break through after eight and a half minutes <laughs> well, that's that's classic breakaway football. I mean, we've we've struggled to contain the ball and, and have any threat, and then all of a sudden, Jack Wilshere gets it. He has a little burst. He looks up. He plays a great ball, well weighted, straight in behind Clichy and Walcott. And Walcott well, I'd love to see him do more of these, making those little runs in behind. One touch, commits heart. Great finish. He had an identical opportunity last week in the Emirates Cup and put it wide. But today he puts it in the net and uh, City forced to use the flanks, so they found position silver. Milner, good strike. Rising drive. But excellent build-up play from Manchester City. Yeah, it was. Again, they've suddenly just got hold of the ball. Everything's one touch. And the one thing they do, as soon as they pass it into an area, they keep running. They keep looking for the return pass, and Milner there just hit it, and he's followed, and it was repassed back, and he struck it well, unfortunately for him. Intently. And this is the time when he'll be thinking about what he's going to do next week. He'll always have that in his mind, the game at the Emirates against Aston Villa. Zabaleta, good searching ball in to Chesney's missed it, Negredo's made contact, and volleyed it towards goal, and Koscielny had to be there as cover, otherwise it would have been 1-1. Well, it was, but it's a big hopeful ball into the box, and, you know, you've got to... You know, you've got to be looking for your goalie there to come and punch that and clear it. He's got to be jumping higher than the than the centre forward. And that's a little bit of a let off there, because that could have just been a goal out of nothing at all. Silva he gets he sits in those pockets. And we're not picking him up. Here's Milner from Silva's pass again. Arsenal stand firm. At the moment, City not able to find the final ball. When they do, it could cause Arsenal problems. Good play by Wilshire rides the challenge of Yaya Toure. Now Walcott, support from Sanya. Oxlade Chamberlain also coming forward. Sanya goes it alone. Good strike by the fullback. Joe Hart going down low to his left, and it's not often you see Bakary Sanya firing in a venomous shot like that. No, it's a, it was the one thing certainly we weren't expecting, especially on his left foot as well. I thought Walcott, I was disappointed when he laid it off. Saying, you know, he, he lined himself up, he saw it, and it's turned out to be a very, very good sight. Dzeko wins the ball back off Arsenal's midfield. Silva just seems to ride challenges with ease, does David Silva. Nice blend of players like him and Torre. Here's City trying to get the equaliser. Dzeko denied by Zaczesny. We've got to be, I mean, Murnasaka's got to know where Dzeko is. Chesney's had to make a good save, but really that should have been one all. Now maybe Arsenal at times is just, maybe just not give so much space behind. Torre. Richards is up there supporting the City attack. Torre. Negredo onside. Good quick movement from Fabianski and a good recovery as well that was a big big let off again for Arsenal that was a great little ball from Torre but shouldn't be able to pick out people running there I mean Murder Saka has 
He's trying to play offside. There's a big hole for him to run into. And we got away with that again. You can't, I mean, I think Sanya behind him was a little bit deeper, so you can't be appealing for offside if you can't see all the way along the line. Company. And here is another one of those Spain internationals. Silva to Navas. Negredo. It's a Spanish. One, two, three, and it nearly results in an equaliser. Yeah, great build up. Good passing, good movement. Again, they just show how quickly they can uh, they can thread you open. Good run, good ball. Another second, maybe not as tight as he should have been. They're just peppering the Arsenal goal. Although they did that for a, you know long periods sometimes in the first half, but uh, they've just not had that cutting edge in the Arsenal. No, Sanya. Walcott was making a break in those yellow boots of his. Ramsey, Walcott, Ramsey again on side for two 0 and Arsenal extend their lead. And just as they did with the first goal, they catch City off guard. And Aaron Ramsey is involved again, this time from being provider, he's goal scorer. Arsenal 2, Manchester City 0. Yeah, really carbon copy. You know, we've been we've been sort of chasing the ball a little bit. Man City have been knocking it around. Great build-up. Great pass. Ramsey does get himself into the areas. I think it was Giroud that's, Giroud that stood still, otherwise he was offside if he'd have moved. Walcott's played a great ball and Ramsey's watched Hart commit himself, gone round in and slotted it in. And we're now two up. We've just been very, very clinical, taken our chances, which have been few and far between. You know, and you start to look at Man City here and you're wondering where, you know, where the fr It's the return from Negredo. Nasri. Haven't seen much of him in the second half so far. Arsenal again defending well. Walcott with an absolutely delightful ball through. And Arsenal lead Manchester City by three goals to nil. And this time it's Olivier Giroud with the goal. And Theo Walcott, who's been involved in all three goals, is once again the provider. And Joe Hart is stunned once more. Well, it's, there you are, you've got a feel for Joe Hart. He's had hardly anything to do in this game at all. And yet he's had three one-on-ones and he's been beat three times. I mean, that's a great finish from Giroud. Great ball from Theo. I mean, that's gone 40, 50 yards. Company, you've got to say, he's got to deal with that better. He's tried up, it's a half-hearted clearance. That's just one hopeful ball, big one over the top. Yeah, I mean, Joe Hart really is, you know, he's, he's going to be scratching his head to work out what the hell's going on, and it's turning into a riot now. And it's going to, it's going to heap a hell lot of pressure on, on Man City. They don't need a result like this. Well, let's put a big smile on the face of the manager. And Olivier Giroud scores his scribe at a moment ago. I think it was before the third goal, was clinical. That's the difference between the two teams today. Less chances for Arsenal, but they've taken them. Negredo, ball through, City threatening to pull one back for Manchester City. Jovetic wasn't even mentioned in the team sheets that we were given before kickoff. His name didn't appear, so we were surprised to see him. In fact, I was surprised not to see him in the first instance, but clearly he's there, and here's a chance for... Flair and touch players and out-and-out out attacking. Those, sorry. sorry, Martin, there he is again, battling away to win the ball back for Arsenal. Giroud. Oxlade Chamberlain. Now Walcott. Sanya's making a good run. Walcott. Giroud. 4 0 for about a millisecond. The uh, linesman's flag went up. It was nearly another great finish. A couple of passes in the box goal. Man City are going to be standing there scratching their heads at the end of this game. Well, looking at the replay, he is just literally half a step offside. Good finish. Joe Hart, no chance, although I think Hart had given up the ghost knowing that the flag had gone up. You have a look at that Arsenal team now and work out the average age. I bet that would be uh, that would be quite quite amazing. There's a lot of youth there. 
City threatening here. Good strike from uh, Negredo. At least it was well hit. It wasn't on target. Plenty of power. Yeah, ball up, knocked down and strike. Struck it well, but off target. And like you say, you look at Man City at the moment and you, you know, you wonder even where a consolation goal is going to come from because they look they look a little bit a little bit off off it you'd be a little bit worried to start the seasons next week former teammate of uh, Mikel Arteta here come City Negredo fending off Koscielny to score and pull one back for Manchester City strength telling and Negredo, as he did in their last pre-season friendly, gets on the score sheet. Well, it's a disappointing goal to give away. I mean, over the course of the game, certainly uh, Man City have, you know, deserved the goal with the chances they've had in the areas they've been in. Unusual to see Koscielny get struck off the ball and outrun a little bit. But in, in the end, it's a good finish. Probably more is slightly more respectable scoreline for Man City to have. Lucas Fabianski has had very little to do in the second half since he came on, and they're a happy bunch. And it's amazing the difference in football what a week makes. Last weekend, very very disappointed with the Galatasaray performance and result but uh, today it's all different referee blows his whistle and the Arsenal fans and manager will be happy with that Arsenal gets one over on Manuel Pellegrini before the start of